The toy cupboard. It is Pepper and George's bedtime. <laughs> Goodness me! Why are all these toys on your bed? That's where they live. Quickly, put the toys away in your toy basket. But the toy basket is full. Oh, so it is. Maybe you need a toy cupboard. Yes, I could make one tomorrow. The last thing you made, Daddy Pig, was this shelf. I'm very proud of that shelf. But, Daddy, it's all wobbly. We use it as a slide for Teddy and Mr Dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's buy a new toy cupboard. We can buy one now, on the computer. Hooray! <laughs> Mummy Pig is using the computer to buy a toy cupboard. Aha! Uh -huh. Now, which one shall we get? Can we have this one, please? That looks perfect. Mummy Pig is buying the toy cupboard. Congratulations! Your toy cupboard is ordered. Oh, goody! <laughs> it is morning, and Mr Zebra the Postman has a special delivery. <laughs> Special delivery for Miss Peppa Pig and Master George. What is it? It's a toy cupboard. Oh, it looks a bit flat. Yes, you build it yourself. Oh. Don't worry, Peppa. It'll be very easy for your mummy and daddy to build. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Now what do we do? Now we build your toy cupboard. Yes! <laughs> That's strange. There aren't any instructions. Maybe it's so easy to build, it doesn't need instructions. Mummy, can we help? Yes. First, I need a shelf. <laughs> Here's a green shelf. Thank you, Pepper. Now I need four legs. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Four blue legs, Mummy. Lovely. We'll have this done in no time. Here's a red door, Mummy Pig. Thank you, Daddy Pig. There. Finished. Well done, Mummy Pig. It's very tiny. How will all our toys fit inside? It is a little small. <laughs> oh. George has found another bit. Uh, maybe that's a spare shelf. And there's all of these bits too. Oh dear, the cupboard is tiny because Mummy Pig has not used all the pieces. We'll just have to take it apart and start again. Oh no. If only we had the instructions. Who can that be? Hello, I've just found this in my van. It's the missing instructions. That will make things a lot easier. Hooray! <laughs> the instructions look very complicated. It's no good. It's nonsense. Leave it to me, Daddy Pig. I quite enjoy putting these things together. Really? Can we help in any way? You can put the kettle on. I'll have a nice cup of tea. With six sugars, please. Everyone is preparing tea and biscuits for Mr Zebra. Tea time, Mr Zebra. Wow! Mr Zebra has built the toy cupboard. My goodness, that was quick. Yes, and I've put all your toys in there too. Ooh! Thank you, Mr Zebra. <laughs> but there's no room for these last two. Oh, poor Teddy and Mr Dinosaur. Where are they going to live? Why not simply order another easy-to-make cupboard? No! I've got a better idea. Teddy and Mr Dinosaur can live on your beds. But, Mummy, that's where they lived before. Yes, I know. That's why it's such a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> It is a lovely sunny day. Pepper and George are finishing their breakfast. Today is a good day for a cycle ride. A cycle ride! Yippee! <laughs> Pepper and George <laughs> love cycle rides. <laughs> Pepper has her bicycle. George has his tricycle. 
Mummy and Daddy have their tandem. What's that? It's our bicycle. <laughs> I sit at the front and Mummy Pig sits at the back. And we can put these two seats on the back for Peppa and George. But we want to ride our own bicycles. George is a bit too little. His legs will get very tired. But I'm a big girl. I won't get tired. It will be a long cycle ride, Peppa. Are you sure? Yes, Daddy. I'm sure. OK. Are we all ready? Yes, yes Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig. Then let's go. Uh, Whee! I'm winning. It's not a race, Peppa. It's just a gentle bicycle ride. Yes, Daddy. But I'm still winning. <laughs> 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 now we're winning. <laughs> I don't like cycling uphill. Peppa, we won the race. No, you didn't, Daddy, because I wasn't racing that time. But now I am. <laughs> Can't catch me. <laughs> you cheeky little piggy. <laughs> Hello, Ducks. We're having a cycle ride. <laughs> Hello, Doc. <Doc. laughs> <sighs> I'd forgotten how much I love cycling. <sighs> oh, I'd forgotten how much I hate cycling up hills. The ground is getting quite steep. <sighs> I don't like cycling up hills. But look at the beautiful view. My. <laughs> Goodness, this is hard work. Mummy Pig, you're not peddling. Oh, <laughs> sorry, Daddy Pig. I was just enjoying the view. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa and her family have reached the top of the hill. <laughs> All Peppa's friends are here. Hello, Peppa. Hello. We're going to have a race on our bikes. <laughs> Peppa, do you want to race too? <laughs> OK. As long as we can race downhill. OK. <laughs> Peppa and her friends are going to race down the hill. Are you all ready? Ready! You can start when I honk the horn, like this. <laughs> Pedro has set off too soon. Stop, Pedro! The race hasn't started yet. Sorry, Mr Pig. I was just letting you know that the horn sounded like this. Uh, stop, stop! Stop! Sorry, Pedro. That time it was my fault. The next time I honk the horn, you can go. Did he say go? I think so. Go! Go, go! go on, Pepper. But, Daddy, you didn't honk the horn. <laughs> Danny Dog is in the lead. Wait for me. I'm very good at cycling downhill. <laughs> it is home time for Peppa's friends. Bye-bye, Peppa. Bye. Home time for us too, Peppa. Mummy, I'm tired. All this cycling up and down hills has made my legs tired. Can I ride on your bike? But where will Daddy Pig sit? Um... Daddy can ride my bike. It's very nice. Oh, OK. <laughs> I love the tandem. Daddy, do you like my bike? Yes, Peppa. It's very nice. <laughs> 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 Peppa and her family are at the swimming pool. Daddy Pig is wearing his swimming costume. Mummy Pig is wearing her swimming costume. Peppa is wearing her swimming costume. Hurry up, George. Everyone's waiting. George is wearing his swimming costume. <laughs> Peppa, George, let Daddy put on your armbands. <laughs> There, George. Your armbands make you look very grown up. <laughs> now me. <laughs> Good. Now we can go in the water. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> 
It is George's first time at the swimming pool. Why don't you put just one foot into the water? Maybe you should try the other foot. Maybe George should try both feet at the same time. Good idea. <laughs> <laughs> well done, George. But you don't need to splash quite so much. <laughs> Here is Rebecca Rabbit with her little brother, Richard Rabbit. Hello, Rebecca. <laughs> Richard, hold on to this float and you can practice kicking your legs. George, would you like to try kicking your legs? <laughs> <laughs> Very good, but try not to splash. Big children don't splash. We're very good at swimming. When George and Richard are older, they'll be able to swim like us. Won't they, Rebecca? Yes. <laughs> oh. Richard has a toy watering can. Stop it, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, dear. Richard has dropped his watering can into the pool. Richard, I can't reach. It's too far down. Mummy! I can't swim underwater. Even I can't swim underwater. Hmm. Please hold my glasses, Mummy Pig. <sighs> Hooray! <laughs> there you go. Well done, Daddy Pig. I am rather good at swimming underwater. <laughs> <laughs> the watering can is for babies. Can we jump off the diving boards now? Sorry, Pepper. Diving boards are only for grown-ups. Oh. oh. Cheer up, you two. You can watch me dive. Silly Daddy. Your tummy is too big. <laughs> Nonsense. I won trophies for my diving when I was younger. That was quite a long time ago, Daddy Pig. It's lucky I've kept myself so fit and strong. Please hold my glasses, Mummy Pig. You'll get a better view if you watch me from the side. Please don't splash us with water, Daddy. Of course I won't splash you, Pepper. I think I need a higher board. Please be careful, Daddy Pig. Yes, don't splash us, Daddy. <laughs> don't worry, Pepper. Don't splash us with water, Daddy. I told you I wouldn't splash. <laughs> <laughs> Clever, Daddy. Well done, Daddy Pig. No need for my towel. I've got a special way of drying myself. Daddy Pig has splashed everyone with water. Daddy Pig! Sorry, everyone. <laughs> George's friend. Peppa and her friends are at the playground. Peppa, Susie and Danny are on the left. <laughs> are you all ready? Then let's go! George is a bit too little for the roundabout. He is playing on the swing. Here is Rebecca Rabbit with her little brother, Richard Rabbit. Hello, everyone! Hello! <laughs> Can I come on the roundabout too? Hop on, Rebecca. <laughs> Let's go really, really fast. Richard Rabbit wants to go on the roundabout too. Oh, if Richard gets on, it means we can't go fast. Richard can play with George. Richard, would you like to play with George? No. George is a dinosaur just like yours. Let's go and see. Richard Rabbit is the same age as George. 
Richard wanted to see George's dinosaur. Grrr, dinosaur. <laughs> George, can Richard play with your dinosaur? No. Richard, can George play with your dinosaur? No. George and Richard do not want to share their dinosaurs. George, it will be much more fun if you share. That was really nice of George. <laughs> Dinosaur! George does not like sharing. Richard, let George hold the dinosaurs now. <laughs> Richard does not like sharing either. What's all this crying about? George and Richard always cry when they play together. They're just too little to play properly. Can you two big girls teach them to play together? Of course. We can help them make sand castles. Good idea. Let's go to the sand pit. <laughs> George and Richard <laughs> love the sand pit. George, Richard, today we are going to make sand castles. First, we fill the buckets with sand. We turn the buckets over and give them a little tap. Now we lift the buckets. Hey, presto! Richard has made a sand castle. Hey, presto! And George has made a sand castle. <laughs> <laughs> you see, playing together is fun. Oh dear, this game has not gone very well. It was your brother's fault. He broke George's sandcastle. Your brother broke my brother's sandcastle first. Now, now, you two big girls are meant to be teaching Richard and George to play nicely together. That's right, we're big girls. And George and Richard are too little to play together properly. Hmm, I've got an idea. George, what's your most favourite thing in the whole playground? <coughs> seesaw! George loves the seesaw. <laughs> seesaw. It is a bit difficult to play on a seesaw on your own. <coughs> Richard wants to play on the seesaw. <laughs> seesaw, seesaw, seesaw. George and Richard are playing together. Seesaw, 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 seesaw. <laughs> George likes Richard. Richard likes George. George and Richard like playing together. The day of the school fate. Miss Rabbit is running the raffle. Roll up, roll up. The top prize is a ride in my hot air balloon. Wow, that sounds fun. <coughs> Can I have a ticket, please? The blue ticket wins a toy car. Well done, Danny. <laughs> Can I have a ticket, please? Thank you, Peppa. What are you hoping to win? The balloon ride. <coughs> Wouldn't it be nicer to win the homemade chocolate cake? Daddy Pig loves homemade chocolate cake. <laughs> the red ticket wins the balloon ride! Hooray! All aboard for the balloon ride! How many passengers, please? Four, please. And Teddy, dinosaur! Oh, and a Teddy and a dinosaur. That makes six. All aboard! <laughs> Hurry up, Daddy Pig. Hop aboard. <laughs> Quick, Daddy! Splice the main brace. Chocks away. Full steam ahead. Very impressive, Miss Rabbit. You must be an expert pilot. Not really. This is the first time I've ever flown a balloon. Oh. Hold tight! Miss Rabbit heats up the air in the balloon to make it rise into the sky. Bye-bye! Bye-bye! <laughs> Would anyone like to do the map reading? I will. Are you sure, Daddy Pig? I'm very good at map reading. Oh, this map is a bit difficult. <laughs> <laughs>
Shall we go higher? Yes, please. Higher, higher. The balloon is rising high into the sky. Oh, where did the sky go? Don't worry, Pepper. We're just flying through a cloud. Ooh. Wow, the sky is back again. Hooray! <laughs> big balloon, big balloon. Bigger than the sun and moon. Flying high in the sky. Fly and fly and fly and fly. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Teddy. We're flying really high. Peppa, be careful you don't drop... Teddy! I've dropped Teddy! <gasps> don't worry, Peppa. We'll rescue Teddy. Hold tight, everybody. We're going down. Miss Rabbit is making the balloon go down so that Teddy can be rescued. I can't see Teddy anywhere. There he is. Teddy's caught in a tree. I can use this anchor to rescue Teddy. Slowly, slowly, there. Daddy Pig has rescued Teddy. Teddy! Hooray! <laughs> oh dear, no one is looking where they are going. Look out! Tree straight ahead! Hold tight! Oh. First Teddy was stuck in a tree. And now we are stuck in a tree. Daddy Pig, do you know where we are? Uh, We're lost, aren't we? Yes. Oh. Ooh. Look, everyone. That's Granny and Grandpa's house. Yes. We must be in Grandpa Pig's garden. As I thought. Ahoy there! Granny Pig and Grandpa Pig. Goodness me! Ahoy there, Miss Rabbit! Uh. Help, please. Grandpa, we can't get down. Don't worry, I've got a ladder. Hooray! Everyone climbs down from the big balloon. Granny, Grandpa! <coughs> Miss Rabbit took us for a ride in her big balloon. How very exciting. <coughs> I'm afraid the most exciting thing we can offer is a piece of my homemade chocolate cake. Homemade chocolate cake? That is exciting. <laughs> that was the best balloon ride ever. And that was the best chocolate cake ever. <laughs> <laughs> George catches a cold. Today it is raining a little bit. <laughs> Peppa, George, put your rain clothes on. When it rains, Peppa and George must wear their rain clothes. Yuck! George does not like wearing his rain hat. George, you must keep your hat on. Why? Because you must keep dry. Why? Because you might catch a cold. Why? George, do you want to play in the garden? <coughs> then keep your hat on. Come on, George. Peppa and George are going to jump in muddy puddles. <laughs> Yuck! George does not want to wear his rain hat. <laughs> Peppa! George! Come inside. The rain's too heavy to play in now. Oh, George, where's your hat? Achoo. George has caught a cold. Achoo. Oh, poor little George. You don't sound well. <coughs> don't worry. I'll ring Dr Brown Bear. Dr Brown Bear speaking. I see. Put George to bed and I'll be straight round. Thank you, Dr Brown Bear. Goodbye. Will George be taken to hospital and given medicine? No. George just has to go to bed. Oh. So George is not really properly ill. Ah! Ugh, that's disgusting. <coughs> Poor George. Let's get you straight to bed. George, you have to stay in bed for a bit. No. George does not want to stay in bed. Achoo. George, you have to stay in bed until you are better. Why? 
Because you have to keep warm. Why? Uh, because Dr. Brown Bear says so. Hello, where's my patient? <gasps> Open wide and say, ah. George is a little bit worried. Hmm, Pepper, you're big and brave. Can you show George how to say, ah? Of course. Ah. <laughs> Ah! Hmm, George has caught a cold. Does George need medicine? No, but he can have some nice warm milk at bedtime to help him sleep. Thank you, Dr Brown Bear. You're welcome. Goodbye. George has been in bed all day. Now it is Pepper's bedtime. George, are you better? George is not better. George, please don't sneeze so loudly. <coughs> <sighs> this is impossible. George, here's some nice warm milk to help you sleep. <sighs> the warm milk makes George feel very, very sleepy. Good night, my little piggies. Ah, <sighs> it's so nice and quiet. It is morning. George has slept very well. <laughs> George is better. <laughs> Come on, everyone. It's a lovely sunny day. George is wearing his rain hat. He doesn't want to catch another cold. Oh, George, you don't need to wear your hat. Why? Because it's hot and sunny. Why? George, can you stop saying why all the time? Why? <laughs> <laughs> George certainly is better. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa and George are helping Grandpa Pig pick vegetables. Peppa, here is a lettuce. Thank you, Grandpa. Oh, what's that? <coughs> There's a horrible monster on it. <coughs> monster. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. that's not a monster. It's just a little snail. Oh, where has he gone? He's hiding in his shell. Is that where he lives? Yes, it's his house. Look, he's coming out again. Hello, Mr Snail. <laughs> Grandpa, does Mr Snail have a bed in his house? Oh, oh, no, Peppa. If I were a snail, I'd have a bed and a table and a chair and a fridge. And a television. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa, what do snails eat? Well, mostly they eat my vegetables. Oi, stop that, you cheeky rascal. <laughs> Grandpa, George and I want to play cheeky snails. <laughs> These baskets can be your shells. There. Now you look like two cheeky snails. <laughs> and I'm going to eat up all Grandpa Pig's lettuce. Oi! Keep off my lovely lettuce, you cheeky snails. <laughs> and when Grandpa Pig shouts at me, I'll hide in my little house. <laughs> <laughs> all of Peppa's friends are here. Hello, Grandpa Pig. Hello, Susie. Have you come to play with Peppa and George? Yes. I don't know where they are. <laughs> it's just me and these two snails here. We are cheeky snails. We are cheeky snails. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> We were pretending to be snails. <laughs> Can we be snails too? I don't think I have enough baskets for you all. Aww. 
You could be something else, though. Something exciting from the garden. A carrot? Rebecca Rabbit likes carrots. No, Rebecca, not carrots. Come over here. <laughs> <laughs> What's that buzzing sound? It's coming from that little house. Grandpa, why is that doll's house making a funny buzzing noise? That's not a doll's house, Peppa. It's a bee's house. It's called a hive. Ooh. Look, here's one now. What's she doing? She's collecting nectar from the flower, and then she flies back to the hive to make it into honey. Hmm, I like honey. Let's pretend to be bees. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Yes, let's be bees. Buzz, buzz, buzz. <laughs> buzz, 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 buzz. My, what busy bees. Yes, we're busy bees. Buzz. Now we must fly back to our hive to make honey. Buzz! <laughs> Goodness me, what do we have here? Granny, we're busy bees. Buzz! Ah, would you busy bees like some toast? Yes, please! And what would you like on your toast? Honey! That's lucky, because that's what I've made. Toast and honey. Hooray! I like being a bee because they eat lots of lovely honey. I like being a snail because they eat all Grandpa's lettuce. <laughs> Oi! Oh. You cheeky rascal. <laughs> <laughs> Recycling. Mr. Bull, the bin man, is collecting the rubbish. It is early morning, so Mr. Bull tries to be as quiet as he can. But Mr. Bull is not very good at being quiet. Pepper and George are finishing their breakfast. What's that noise? It's Mr. Bull, the bin man. Hello, Hello Mr. Mr. Bull. Bull. Hello, everyone. Must be off. Lots of rubbish to collect. Bye. Bye. <coughs> Bye. <coughs> Mr. Bull has emptied the rubbish bin for us. Good. Let's clear up the breakfast things. Can we help, Mummy? Yes, you can. <coughs> Let's throw this empty bottle in the bin. Pepper, stop. What? We don't put bottles in the rubbish bin. They can be recycled. What does that mean? All the things we can't use again, we put in the rubbish bin for Mr Bull. But all the things that can be used again are put in these recycle boxes. The red one is for newspapers, the blue one is for tin cans, and the green one is for bottles. Pepper, you have a bottle, so which box does it go in? Um, the green one. Yes. <laughs> This is fun. Now it's George's turn. Can you find a newspaper for the red box? <laughs> George wants to recycle Daddy Pig's newspaper. Oh, oh, I haven't finished with my newspaper just yet, George. You can have it in a minute. Oh, all right. Here you are, George. <laughs> Newspapers go in the red box, George. <laughs> now that we have collected enough things, we can go to the recycle centre. Hooray! Let's go! Mummy Pig has the bottles. Pepper has the tin cans. And George has the newspapers. Is everybody ready? Yes, Daddy Pig! Then let's go! to recycle tin cans, bottles, newspapers. <laughs> recycle, recycle, we're going to recycle. <laughs> <laughs> this is Miss Rabbit's recycle centre. We're here. Hooray! Hello there. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Have you come to do some 
some recycling? Yes, we have. Jolly good. Carry on. What's Miss Rabbit doing? She's recycling all the rusty old cars. Wow. Who can tell me which bin the bottles go in? The green one. That's right. And the cans go in the blue one. Well done, Pepper. <laughs> George wants to recycle the newspapers. <laughs> OK, George, you can do the newspapers. <laughs> <laughs> there. That's enough recycling for one day. Yes. <laughs> Let's go home. <laughs> oh, where's our car gone? Pepper's car has disappeared. Stand back! Miss Rabbit is recycling Pepper's car. <gasps> Stop! That's our car! What? Is it really? Yes! yes. Our car isn't old and rusty. <laughs> Silly me. I just love recycling. Yes, so do we. But we also love our little car. Yes, and our little car loves us too, don't you? <laughs> Daddy Pig's office. Today, as a special treat, Pepper and George are visiting Daddy Pig's office. Daddy, what do you do at your office all day? Lots of fun things. You'll see. This is the building where Daddy Pig works. We're here. Hooray! <laughs> yes? Hello, it's Daddy Pig. Hello, Daddy Pig. Can I press the button too? <laughs> of course, Pepper. Yes? It's me. Oh, hello, me. Come in. <laughs> <laughs> My office is on the top floor. We have to go up in the lift. Can I press the button? I think it's George's turn. Press the top button, George. <laughs> Ooh. The lift is taking Pepper, George and Daddy Pig up to the very top floor. Wow! Top floor, doors opening. <laughs> this is Daddy Pig's office. Hello, everyone. Hello, Daddy Pig. Hello, Daddy Pig. Mr Rabbit and Mrs Cat work with Daddy Pig. I've brought two very special visitors with me today. <laughs> Peppa and George. What an honour. Let's begin the tour. Mr Rabbit, can we start at your desk? We certainly can. <clears throat> My job is all about numbers. I take very important pieces of paper. I take a rubber stamp. And I stamp the paper. Wow! What a great job Mr Rabbit has. Can I do some stamping? Of course. I'll just find you some paper. Here's some paper. <laughs> uh, maybe we should use some blank paper. Here you are. Peppa likes stamping with rubber stamps. I like doing Mr Rabbit's job. <laughs> <laughs> On with the tour. Next up is Mrs Cat's desk. Meow. Hello, Pepper and George. Hello. My job is all about drawing shapes on the computer. Ooh. Then I print the shapes out. Wow. <laughs> and here's another copy. Thank you. What a nice job Mrs Cat has. Can I have a go? Maybe it's George's turn now. That's right, George. It's your turn to do some work. <laughs> George is making blue triangles. Now we print them out. <laughs> I like doing Mrs Cat's job. <laughs> do you want to see my desk now? Yes. This is Daddy Pig's desk. My job is quite complicated. I take big numbers, transmute them and calculate their load-bearing tangents. Daddy Pig's job sounds very important. Do you use rubber stamps? No. 
Do you use a computer? No, but I do use colouring pens. Daddy, can we draw with your colouring pens? Good idea. <laughs> Pepper and George love drawing with colouring pens. I'm drawing a house. George is drawing a dinosaur. <laughs> George always draws dinosaurs. Dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness! Five o'clock already. It is home time. I say, what a splendid picture of a house. And what a fierce dinosaur. George and I have been doing Daddy's job. And they've been doing it very well. I like doing Mr Rabbit's job. And I like doing Mrs Cat's job. But I like doing Daddy's job the best. <laughs> <laughs> Traffic jam. Granny Pig and Grandpa Pig are making lunch for Pepper and her family. I've dug up some more potatoes. Oh, Grandpa, we've already got plenty of potatoes. You can never have too many potatoes. OK. But get the potatoes in the oven. The others will be here soon. Oh, oh we've plenty of time. It's only 11 o'clock. Pepper and her family are on their way. I wish we'd set off sooner. We're going to be late again. Don't worry, Mummy Pig. We've still got loads of time. We're always late when we go to Granny and Grandpa's. <laughs> Not this time. I've found a new way that avoids all the traffic. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Pepper and her family are stuck in a traffic jam. Look, there's Danny Dog and Grandad Dog. Danny Dog and Grandad Dog are in the traffic jam too. Hello, Pepper. Hello, Pepper. <laughs> We're going to my granny and grandpa's for lunch. We're going to be late. It's one o'clock. They're late, as usual. How are your potatoes doing? Um, they still need a bit more cooking. Granny Pig speaking. Hello, Granny Pig. We're stuck in a traffic jam. Don't worry. We're running late too. Grandpa's gone over the top with potatoes. See you in a bit. Poor dears are stuck in a traffic jam. Sounds like I've got time to get a few more potatoes. Grandpa Pig. We're moving so slowly. We'll never get to Granny and Grandpa's. Pepper's right. We have to try a different way. But there aren't any other main roads. I know a shortcut. Bye-bye, everyone. We're taking a shortcut. Bye-bye, Pepper. Good luck. Mummy Pig is taking a shortcut to get ahead of the traffic. The shortcut is very bumpy. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> Are you sure about this? Trust me. Hello, ducks. We're taking a shortcut. <laughs> Look, there's the main road again. Well done, Mummy Pig. But we're still behind Danny's lorry. Hello. Welcome back. Oh, dear. Mummy Pig's shortcut has not worked very well. Good. Lunch is ready. And most important of all, the potatoes are done. Lunch is ready, but Pepper and her family are still not here. Grandpa Pig speaking. We're almost at your house. But the traffic is still moving at the speed of a snail. A very, very slow snail. They're almost here, but they're still in the traffic jam. Poor dears. The food is going to get cold. I've got an idea. I'll get my wheelbarrow. What is Grandpa Pig doing? Granny Pig! Load the lunch into the wheelbarrow. Aye, aye, Grandpa Pig. If they can't come to the lunch, we have to take the lunch to them. <laughs> Look, there's 
it's Granny and Grandpa with our lunch in a wheelbarrow. <laughs> Ahoy there! Lunch is served. Is there enough for Danny and Grandad Dog to have some too? We've got enough for everyone. Hooray! Potatoes! <laughs> Good job you did lots and lots of potatoes, Grandpa. Ho, ho! You can never have too many potatoes. <laughs> Peppa and George are going to the seaside with Granny and Grandpa Pig. <laughs> Peppa and George love the seaside. Oh, where's the sand gone? There isn't any sand on this beach, Peppa. No sand? But we wanted to make sand castles. Peppa and George love making sand castles. Oh, no, George. Don't be upset. <laughs> there are lots of exciting things to do on this rocky beach. Like what? When the sea goes out, it leaves little pools of water in amongst the rocks. They're called rock pools. And in every rock pool, there's something special that the sea has left behind. Ooh, I can see something glittering. It's a coin! Wow! Maybe it's a pirate's treasure. Ooh. Let's make a collection of all the things we find. Yes, we'll put them in George's bucket. <laughs> <laughs> what surprise is waiting in this pool? There's nothing special in this one. Ho, 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 ho! There's always something, Pepper. Look closer. Ooh, there is something. Yes, it's a crab. Ah! The crab is pinching Grandpa Pig's finger. Oh! Ouch! Naughty Mr. Crab. <laughs> Look, George. Mr. Crab is walking sideways. <laughs> George is pretending to be a crab. <laughs> Pepper wants to be a crab too. We're naughty crabs. Pinch, pinch, pinch. <laughs> pinch, pinch, pinch. Help! There are two naughty crabs trying to pinch me. Pinch, pinch, pinch. We're naughty crabs. Pinch, pinch, pinch. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Shoo, 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 you naughty crabs. Go back to your little rock pools. Yes. Let's look in more rock pools. <laughs> What can you see? A seashell. Can you hear the sea in it? What do you mean? If you put a shell to your ear, you can hear the sea. Wow! I can hear the sea. <laughs> I love my seashell. George, can you find a seashell too? <laughs> shell! That's not a shell. Oh. Pepper's right. That's not a shell. George has found a fossil. What's a fossil? A fossil is the remains of an animal that lived long ago, when there were dinosaurs. Dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Rock pools are such fun. Yes, they're fun for us. But not for this little fish. A fish? Where? Ooh. Poor little fish. She's trapped. Oh. Oh? The little fish says she wants to go back to the sea. Maybe you could use your bucket to rescue her. Yes. Peppa is rescuing the little fish in her bucket. Don't worry, Mrs Fish. You'll soon be back with your friends. Bye-bye, Mrs Fish. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. I 
love rock pools. <laughs> Holly's holiday. Granny and Grandpa Pig are going on holiday. They are bringing Polly Parrot to Peppa's house so Peppa and George can look after her. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Grandpa Pig. Hello, Granny Pig. <coughs> Polly is very excited about her holiday with Pepper and George. Hello, Polly. Ah! Hello, Polly. <laughs> Polly Parrot copies everything that is said. <laughs> What's in Polly's suitcase, Granny? <coughs> this is Polly's food. George, can you guess what Polly likes to eat best? Chocolate cake. <laughs> no, not chocolate cake. Polly likes bird seed. Ah, bird seed! <laughs> <laughs> Can I feed her, Granny Pig? Can I feed her? Yes. It's very important not to give Polly too much food. Yes, Grandpa Pig. <laughs> Grandpa, can Polly come out of the cage? Yes, but you must keep all the doors and windows closed so Polly doesn't fly away. Yes, Grandpa Pig. Goodbye, Peppa. Goodbye, George. <coughs> Goodbye, Granny Pig. Goodbye, Grandpa Pig. Ah! Goodbye, Granny Pig. Goodbye, Grandpa Pig. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like a cup of tea? Ah! Would you like a cup of tea? <laughs> George has got Polly's bird seed. <laughs> George, that is too much bird seed. Polly will go very big and burst like a balloon. Pop. Ah! <laughs> What's that noise? Ice cream! <laughs> <laughs> Ice cream! Hooray! <laughs> oh dear, George has forgotten to close the door. Rabbit, the ice cream lady. Hello, Mummy Pig. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Four ice creams, please. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. <laughs> George, you forgot to close the door. Polly will have flown away. Don't worry, Peppa. I'm sure Polly is still inside. Polly's not here. Oh. <laughs> We've lost Polly. Grandpa and Granny are going to be very sad. Maybe we should try the garden. Look, what's that? What has Mummy Pig seen in the garden? Ah! It's Polly! Hooray! Ah! But, Daddy, how are we going to get Polly down from the tree? Ah! Don't worry, Peppa. I'll rescue Polly. Come on, Polly. Oh, no. Polly has flown higher up the tree. Oh, dear. Be careful, Daddy. Don't fall out of the tree like you always do. Don't worry, Peppa. I'll be very careful. Come on, Polly. Ah! Bird seed! I wonder where George is going. George has got Polly's bird seed. Polly loves to eat bird seed. George has got Polly down from the tree. Hooray! Hooray! What's that noise? Daddy Pig's mobile phone is ringing. What? Oh. Hello? Oh, Granny Pig. Hello, Daddy Pig. Please, may I talk to Polly? Yes, of course. Hello, Polly. Are you having a nice holiday? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Windy Autumn Day. Today, Pepper is going to the park. <laughs> it's freezing cold. It is cold. <laughs> Quick, let's get our warm clothes on. 
On cold days, Peppa and her family wear their hats and scarves and coats. I'll put the roof up. Oh, and let's get the heating on. Everyone nice and warm? Yes, yes Daddy Pig. Pig. Then let's go. This is the park. We're here. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, why are all the leaves red and yellow? It's autumn time, Pepper. In the autumn, it gets a bit colder and the leaves change colour. <laughs> it's quite windy. Let's play a game to keep warm. <laughs> <laughs> My turn. Oh, it's not meant to go that way. The wind is blowing the ball along. <laughs> the ball is in the pond. Hmm. I'll just use this stick to reach it. Just a bit further, Daddy. Be careful, Daddy Pig. Don't worry. I've almost got it. Whoa. <laughs> Daddy, is the water cold? A little bit. The wind has blown the ball out of the pond. That's lucky. Yes. What a stroke of luck. It's getting even windier. Hold on to your hats. No, the wind has blown George's hat off. <laughs> Don't worry, George. Daddy Pig will catch your hat. Quick, Daddy! <laughs> Look, it's in that little tree. Hmm. I'll just climb up and get it. The tree is much too thin to take your weight, Daddy Pig. So, how can we get George's hat? Simple. I'll give the tree a little shake. Huh. Maybe if I shake it a bit harder. Oh! oh. <gasps> <laughs> I thought that sort of thing only happened to me. It's not funny. It is a bit funny, Mummy. I suppose it is a bit funny. <laughs> <laughs> Where's George's hat? It's on your head. <laughs> Here's your hat, George. Hold on to it this time. <laughs> the wind is blowing all the leaves off the trees. Look at me. I'm leaning into the wind. <laughs> the wind is strong enough to hold Pepper up. <laughs> the wind is strong enough to hold George up. Daddy, have a go. Uh, I'm a bit too heavy. Come on, Daddy. It's really fun. Oh, all right. The wind is strong enough to hold up Daddy Pig. <laughs> I say, this is fun. Come on, Mummy Pig, give it a try. But if the wind stops, I'll fall over. <laughs> the wind won't just stop. The wind has stopped. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. It is a bit funny. <laughs> <laughs> now the wind has stopped, what can we do? Hmm, what's your favourite game? Jumping up and down in muddy puddles. But there aren't any puddles, just lots of boring dry leaves. And what do you do with dry leaves? I don't know. Jump up and down in them! Daddy Pig loves jumping up and down in leaves. <laughs> Pepper loves jumping up and down in leaves. <laughs> Everyone loves jumping up and down in leaves. This is the best autumn day ever. <laughs> <laughs> Grandad Dog's Garage. This is Grandad Dog's Garage. Here are Peppa and her family in their car. Hello, Danny. <coughs> Hello, Peppa. What can we do for you today? We've got petrol, air for tyres, and a new automatic car wash. Uh, two ice lollies, please. Oh, certainly. Grandad Dog's garage sells lots of things, even ice lollies. <laughs> Thank you. Goodbye. 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 
I love our car. <laughs> and our car loves us too, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear, the car has stopped. It's no good. It won't start. I know. I'll ring Grandad Dog. Grandad Dog speaking. Help! Our car has broken down. Danny, we've got some rescuing to do. Yippee! To the rescue! To the rescue! Look! There's Danny and Grandad Dog. Hooray! Grandad Dog knows everything about cars. Hmm. Is it serious? No. You've just run out of petrol. What can we do? There's plenty of petrol at my garage. I'll tow you there. Grandad Dog is towing Pepper's car back to his garage. Grandad Dog is filling Pepper's car with petrol. Thank you, Grandad Dog. <laughs> Here are Susie Sheep and her mummy in their car. <laughs> Hello, Pepper. <laughs> Hello, Susie. We ran out of petrol. Grandad Dog rescued us. Wow, that's exciting. See you later. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> All the air has gone out of the tyre. Will Grandad Dog have to rescue us? I think so. Grandad Dog speaking. I see. Don't panic, Mummy Sheep. I'm on my way. To the rescue! Can I go too? Hop aboard, Pepper. To the rescue! <laughs> to the rescue! <laughs> Come to rescue you. Hooray! Grandad Dog is filling the tyre with air. Thank you, Grandad Dog. <coughs> Here are Granny Pig and Grandpa Pig in their car. Hello, everyone. Hello, Grandpa Pig. Would you like some petrol or air? No, thanks. I want to try out your new car wash. Certainly. It's run by a computer. Hello, I am the car wash of the future. Ooh. First, soapy water. Then, a rinse. And finally, a polish. Wow! Sorry, I have malfunctioned. Oh dear, the computer has broken. And Grandpa Pig's car is stuck. Ah! Do something, Grandad Dog. Oh, I don't know how to mend computers. My daddy mended our computer at home. Uh, well, I didn't really mend the computer. I just... Good! Then this is a job for Daddy Pig. Hmm. Maybe if I just switch it off... and then switch it on again. Daddy Pig has mended the car wash. Hooray! Grandad Dog is the best at mending cars, but my daddy mended the car wash. <laughs> 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 <laughs>